What is up G Crew? I'm Chris G bringing you guys another video and in today's video we're going to be doing another photo edit so uh, without further ado, let's get started. So the photo we're going to be working with today is another photo of myself. Um, I'm very photogenic so I don't mind taking pictures in front of a camera or um, behind the camera, both, whatever. Um, anyway, so this picture was actually taken with my buddy Christian We went when I went to Oregon. We were trying to get a hyperlapse of um, mountains and I've never seen mountains in my life before so we got some hyperlapses, hyperlapses, time lapses, I'm sorry. Um, those of you that don't know the difference, a time lapse is just when the camera's on a tripod or anywhere that's at a standstill position and just capturing a bunch of movement at a, uh, a long period of time and then you just fast forward it pretty much. Hyperlapse is almost the same thing except the camera movement, camera movement is from point A to point B and, it's, and it has a focal point and it has a subject to focus on. But, um, but yeah, without further ado guys, without me rambling, let's get started with the actual edit. So here I see myself, you know, smiling, cheesing. I'm gonna go to the edit tool. I'm gonna bring up the shadows just a bit, bring up the blacks. Usually I like to bring down the shadows sometimes, but uh, recently I've been feeling a very vibrant tone in my pictures. So I'm gonna lower the highlights just to get more detail into the shadows. I mean, into the sky shadows, what am I saying? I'm gonna increase the contrast just so you can get more color within the plants uh, that are around me. And I guess, would you consider those weeds or just very, very tall grass? I don't even know. We parked on the side of the road, which was pretty dangerous because it was a very speedy street. Um, yeah. But I was in the grass, so I was safe. Anyway, let's go to the color tool. We're gonna keep some of the greens in this one. I feel like there's too much green to get rid of. I feel like if I were to just get rid of it, it would kind of just ruin the whole thing. So look, like I said, feeling very vibrant. So let's keep up with this vibrant, I guess, um, vibrant mood. Yeah. All right. So here, I don't know how I feel about, okay, cool, cool. So I don't know if you can tell, but in the very top right of the grass area, it's kind of orangey, so I'm gonna kind of get rid of that by just increasing the hue. And then there you go, it blends in with the greens. Um, and I can saturate it if I want, which I probably will. Actually, no. Hold up. Okay, okay, so I noticed something. So I was going for a color in the grass and I noticed it started changing my skin tone. So I'm gonna to have to do is select that area and then do I really want to do that? Probably not. I'm not going to put in the extra effort. Sometimes in photography, you kind of just be lazy about it. That's me. Oh well. But it looks good. It looks fine. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to increase it as well because I feel like I'm dark. And there you go. It even blends in with the grass as well. So I'm, you know, satisfied. So here, I'm going to see if this messes with my socks because they're pink and they're not. So this red does and it also messes with my skin tone a bit. So that's fine. Doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna go over here in the effects uh, tab or panel, and oof, I don't know if I like that. Let's see. Usually with the clarity, if you overdo it, it looks very cartoony, and that's not a good thing most of the time. Dehazing it. Let's see. Wow, you get so much more detail into the clouds or the sky, and uh, yeah, that's put a baby vignette. You can't even hardly tell with my vignettes, which I like about that. Cause it adds more focus to the subject that's in the center of the frame, um, but without overdoing it. Because if you overdo it like this, like obviously I'm telling the viewer, hey, look at me, you know? But if I just make it very subtle, it, it makes me pop out more. And another thing I can do too, get the selective tool, get this ellipse tool right here, and then, oh, whoa. Not what I meant to do. But you just bring it over here around me, like so. And then I can increase the exposure just a bit. Not too much, because then I'm gonna, you know, it looks kind of crazy. But just a little bit, and, and it makes a huge difference for sure. And I pop, I pop out, so. This is the before, and then this is the after, so. 
But without further ado, guys, that's actually going to be the end of the edit. I know sometimes whenever you're posting on Instagram and you're going out traveling with your friends or on vacation or whatever, it's cool to always take pictures, right? Especially when you get your family members to, you know, can you take a picture of me on, put on Instagram, blah, 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 you know, show off to all my friends. Um, it's cool to do that, you know, but if you're going to do that, try to put in the extra time and actually edit your photos because, you know, if you put on Instagram without a filter or even if you pick a filter, you know, everyone sees the same filters over and over. Oh, they use that filter. Oh, they use that one. So get Lightroom. It's a free app. You can use it on your phone. Um, it's both for Android and Apple. So, you know, Apple's better. But regardless, get Lightroom. You can be very creative with it. Have your own look. Have your own style without just copying the same filter. You know, filters are made for, I guess, easier purposes and easier purposes for user-friendly purposes, but I mean, I'm just talking a lot now at this point. I just strongly encourage you guys to get Lightroom just because you can just, I don't know, be more creative if you have the time. And if you don't, then I guess slap the filter on and just be like everybody else. But without further ado, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully you can stay original. Um, hopefully you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. Subscribe. Peace.